It's Forms of Faith, and I'm back with another dream. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my Spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. I just woke up at around 8.30. It's 9.52. Today is January 7th, 2023. And I had... A dream and it goes like this um it started out with being as if everyone was getting ready for new year's um like going to new year's parties and everything and then i remember seeing my mom and my mom has passed away and gone but my mom was sitting on the edge of her bed it kind of looked like it was her room from our from our family home and she was sitting on the edge of her bed and she was looking in such like, like, you know, when something is heavy on your mind, she was like, just sitting there and she was looking like so concerned and just so like zone in to whatever thoughts she had on her mind. And I remember it looked like she was trying to change her sheets on her bed. But then I seen she was in the closet talking to a fellow female. And But it didn't seem like my mom was talking. It seemed like the young lady was talking. And I remember saying hi. But I just kept remembering my mom sit down like on the edge of the bed. Just like totally in a daze. And I remember we just moved into our new home and it has this certain tile flooring. And I remember it's like my mom's room was right there and there was an extension of my mom's room in our family home. And that extension of my mom's room was like the new flooring that's in our new home. And there it seemed like I was getting the boys ready because we were going to do like a sleepover. And then I remember another young lady that I seen in aunt of mine. I remember people saying that they were going to go to her New Year's Eve party. But then I also remember saying something about the classics, which is an event that takes place in Florida around. Uh, sometimes it's October, uh, end of September, October. So along that time frame and um after that but I did have the feeling of New Year's um after that in the dream everything switched I remember I was literally by myself um in an instant um my boys and my nephew disappeared and my sister disappeared as well and here I was, and this thing looked at like uh, the Galleria Mall um, back home in Florida. It's really, really huge, really nice. And it had like this really big opening. And it was like this huge square um, pool or probably just like a place that held water. But it's like it had these pillow looking things Um in the midst of it and like these little square marshmallow looking white things in the midst of it as well and um after that there were people like on lawn chairs around the whole square of where the water was but above the square was an opening like to outside but when I looked back, it's like this guy, he had on like a a medical scrub, like the green medical scrub they wear at the hospitals, the tealish green. And I remember him saying that he was trying to create steam. So as I see him with the medical scrub and I look, he's standing in between like this clear door, like a like kind of like a laboratory looking door 
and he's telling I guess he's telling the girl what he's getting ready to do and then the steam began to appear and it was people all around the whole square of the water in this opening above and then came out this black handsome male and he was he could have been naked and they escorted him to this corridor that was completely glass and it was other people that were in there as well and it's as if kind of like he had this gloss eyed look like he looked he kind of glanced at me but he kept it like straight forward and he went in there and after that it's like everything just switch and I began to now that I'm up I began to understand that that was a laboratory that I was in and there was this black young girl I don't know if she, maybe she was a scientist or whatever but you know in those laboratories they have things when those scientists be there for a while they have things like gyms and everything for them to work out and she was in active fitness gear and it was a mint green sports bra and she had on tights with a little hump in the front and a ponytail in the back. And I remember seeing her, but instantly everything like switched because the black guy was standing to the door and he was no longer that way he looked when he walked across me. I don't know if he was already in the phase of whatever they were doing when he did walk past me going towards but he was extremely demonic and zombied out when he was standing to the glass door and the young lady who was in the sports attire knew exactly what was going on and she told me that she'll try and hold him off for as long as I can and to go run and tell but as soon as she did that, it's like she braced herself up against the glass door and he didn't do nothing but lean on it and the door broke. These vicious things that came out of this glass door was so strong. They were, I mean, they had this look in their eyes that is totally different. I've had numerous of zombie dreams but the look in their eyes were totally different um the intensity of the strength that they had was totally different and they were coming out of a lavatory and i began to run and begin to as i ran inform the people what was going on and it didn't take me long to have to inform them because from a distance it's as if like the gravitational pull around them was able to snatch people up and do all type of things before they even got up on them they were so strong it's i remember um this one segment it looked at like where it was was a third world country um where the whole thing was taking place because only third world countries have those tight spaces with those stone walls and everything like that. I want to say it could have been somewhere like um, uh, Brazil, India, um, Israel, some Turkey, somewhere like that along the line. I'm not sure where, but it was somewhere foreign like that, that have still that stonish, uh, sandy effect. And these things begin to pull people up by ropes off of the ground it was so intense they were just literally demolishing people from every witch in turn and it's like I kept being in each area to see what was going on and I was I was running to tell people like you know let's try and get out of here like it's zombies you know and they're coming and I got to this certain section where I began to see the front lawn of where this thing that reminded me of the Galleria Mall on top 
actually underneath and this place was a laboratory and this is what confirmed it. The grass went back and the gravel and everything went back and they opened up the ground for some of the humans that was looking forward to escape to try and refuge them. But that was compromised as well. So they opened up the ground to try and provide a refuge for them, but that didn't work. And I remember like, you know, running, I mean, literally running. And I, I got to this dead end and it was so funny because when I got to this dead end, it was like a junkyard and it seemed like they had like all of these old fashioned cars, like an old F-150, like the Ford truck, the old Ford truck. Um, it was like on the um, ledge thing that kind of go up and down when you're at the mechanic shop. And it was this trucker. He was coming to get gas. And that's so funny to me because, you know, Everything that's already going on, you know, when it comes to certain things. And this is the end that I had got to. And it was like a junkyard full of, it wasn't really a junkyard because these trucks may have been usable, but I, I mean, I wouldn't know. I was just looking forward to getting out and it was so many cars. And I remember telling the people that, you know, we need to get in one of these cars, but I went forward before um, I left out this small detail. So when the ground went back and the people was trying to jump in the floor, so did I. I tried to jump in the floor as well. And when I did, it's as if these two people that were scientists, they drove off the front. Like the front part of it that did open was drivable. And they closed it off because the next thing that was going to jump in was a zombie. And they began to drive off and like, you know, driving out. It seemed like everyone was in traffic and nothing hadn't happened yet. And now this traffic looked like somewhere that could have been in like a rush hour traffic of like a Los Angeles or a city, a big city, maybe New York, something like that. It gave me those vibes of the traffic that I seen and the lights and how it looked and a city wide view. Um, and we were in traffic trying to go around and me thinking that, you know, uh, we maybe got away here. They came and, you know, people began to then panic and try and rush and everything like that and then that's how I ended to the dead end of trying to get somewhere else and out of that one car well that I guess that that car that was also like a I don't know what it transformed into with having like a refuge thingy on the back but we were trying to get into another car and I remember it being a group of people that I was like, we have to go. If we're going to find a car, we got to find a car, but we have to go. Like they're right behind us and they have so much strength and they're powerful. And I remember seeing the old trucks and I remember there was a black guy. It's like as if how those truckers go and they go the way their trucks when they're out on the road and he was maybe going to get a it's like some more fuel and he was right there in between like the underneath the thing where you pass through to get your truck weighed and um to maybe refuel and i woke up from the dream you know i have a job to do that i have not done this is a spectrum of a new time no not believing in new year because this is on the gregorian's calendar time frame and you know time has already started over contrary to israel so there is something that is greatly going to take place because the time is going to be given to the devourer for his time frame to come to pass but my mother in the dream was very significant and very important to me 
because she reminded me of how when it has been described that Jesus looks down on people in hell that he wished that he could save only if they listened. Not comparing my mom to Jesus or anything, but my mom, she knew the purpose that I had because my mom was a dreamer. So if you know her beyond not saying that she's a guardian angel or anything, but what if the Lord used her as a sign that my mom was disappointed because I was not doing what I was supposed to, you know, and she was sitting there dazed because everything is going to take place. And she's dazed because I'm still acting like I'm lost when I know what I'm supposed to do. And I'm supposed to be living my purpose. But it's clearly what I am not doing. And I just, I know for a fact that that was a laboratory. And you know, everyone that took a part in the jab, getting that shot, whatever you want to call it, were subjects. And they were subjects for the beast system that is in place, not is rolling in place. However, this is an old ancient plan that has now been established with COVID. That's what COVID was for. It was an epic cover up to usher forth the, the, the order of something that is ancient. I have several other dreams that I will be um, adding to my channel, I have left my channel hanging for a whole year, just being caught up in the distractions that the enemy has brought my way and allowed him to have his way. But I will not be fooled anymore. I make that vow this day because one, I don't want to go to hell. Two, I don't want blood to be on my hands by not delivering God's messages. I'm no one. Only thing I can do is Deliver what has been shown to me when I go to sleep at night and I don't ask for this. So I'm pointing it out to know that that is exactly what they did to everybody. And everyone will be zombified because you will be no longer of the Lord's DNA. You have the serpent seed inside of you. So now you are a demon. You are a demon and you are a subject to the kingdom of hell, no longer the kingdom of heaven. So that right there was a clear sign of so many indications and factors. And these things are getting ready to take place on the earth. It has been said so many times that it's going to happen from years, thousands of years ago on to now. Everyone has said that the day, the great and troubled day is coming, but it is coming now. And it is closer than what anyone could ever expect. From before, you know, I was in that dream by myself. At first, I was in that dream with my family, my sister. I was able to see my mother and my children. And I was by myself. I do not want to be left behind. Granted, if the Lord see fit for me to be one that's here covered, you know, to steal help in the in this end time. So be it. That's the plan. That's the destiny. There. That's my mm -hmm. purpose. But just to fall short by the wayside because I didn't want to listen. No, I don't want to make it into heaven by the skin of my teeth. I want to hear well done, my faithful servant. So for those of you who hear this message, I know I went kind of back and forth and wasn't straightforward, but I'm just allowing the Lord to lead me and allowing him to speak the Holy Spirit. And I ask that it intercedes in the ears of the listeners who hears this. And get close to the Lord and change your lives. I'm not perfect. You know, I'm a person with many flaws telling this dream. But, you know, I got to get it out there. So I love everyone who's listening to it. And I wish that y'all just get y'all lives right while we still have a chance and while he's still giving us the opportunity.